Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at creating your own PC rescue and PC repair uh, USB toolkit. Now, you're going to need to make sure that you've purchased your software and you've got your ISO images all done and everything else before you can actually add these to your USB flash drive. That's the most important part first. The second bit is uh, we're going to be using a piece of software called Win Setup from USB. Now there is other tools out there that you can use to create your own USB flash drives like easy to boot which is really easy to use and maybe we'll cover some videos in that in a few weeks time. But first off you guys wanted to see this piece of software so we're going to be taking a look at this one and I'll show you how easy it is to create your own USB flash drives and put your own mark on them. So just remember guys, we're not going to be using any sort of crack software or anything like that in this video. It's all legitimate software and we're going to be using that. So whatever you use on yours, it's entirely up to you. So first off, you're going to need to make sure that you've got your own ISO images. And I've got some ISO images here uh, of what um, I've created. So you can see uh, PE disks and uh, also Hiren's uh, disk here and... A few other bits and pieces of some multi-boot uh, discs here, ISOs that I've created as well. So we have to have our USB flash drive. Now depending on what size you want to go with, I've just got a 32 gig one here, USB 3.0 ultra fast, which is really important if you want super fast uh, speeds. I've only got it plugged into the USB 2.0 at the moment because we're on a virtual machine. And obviously we're going to need the software. Now if you want to create a menu, a, a fancy menu, you're going to need uh, either to download a menu from somewhere or an image, I mean uh, the actual images, or you can download this program uh, from this guy in Brazil. It's in Brazilian uh, and stuff like Portuguese, I think. But you can sort of get around to it and use it properly. So let's take a look at firing up our program. Now again, this is the software that you guys wanted me to use. Now you can see there's quite a few bits and pieces in there. I can see RM Prep USB. I'm not sure if uh, Steve knows that they've incorporated this into the program or whether he's part of this program. Um, but anyway, uh, we've got Boot Ice and also we've got some other bits and pieces here. You see we've got a list of uh, tick boxes here. And uh, Donate, Advanced Options and Testing uh, QEMU. So let's get started. So first off, we're going to open up RM Prep USB. And uh, what we're going to do here is prep our USB drive, ready for uh, putting all our ISOs on. Now to do this, we're going to select the top option here. And you can see it says WinPE, uh, WinPE version 3, Vista, Windows 7, bootable, and so on. That's what we want to select. Uh, also, I'm going to be selecting NTFS on here. You can use FAT32, but I'm just going to be using NTFS. And we're going to be ticking the boot as hard drive as well. Now, the next part is to uh, prepare the drive. You can see it's selected the right drive up here. Make sure you've got the right drive uh, selected in case you've got other USB devices plugged in. So we're just going to prepare this. Click OK and click OK. It's going to erase everything on that drive. And it will start to prepare the drive ready. Just be patient and let us finish this thing, okay? And then once this is done, we'll carry on with the next step. Okay, see it's doing all its job. That's now completed. Now what we want to do is install uh, Grub for DOS. And there's a little feature here built into RM Prep USB. So we're going to install this. I'm going to say yes to install to the MBR here. Click OK and let this run through okay we're going to need to push enter to continue another little box will pop up click ok and that's that part dealt with with the rm prep usb very powerful tool very good tool uh, to use um, so now we want to put in some iso images and what we're going to do here is i'm just going to uh, stick in this area here linux iso i'm going to locate our ISO image so I'm just going to pull this down and the first one uh, we can put in here is a Cronus which is my bootable media which I can use you can change the titles a bit later on so we're just going to go push go here 
and this will allow me to boot up to Acronis here and uh, create backups and restore drives and whatnot with this okay you are going to need to have a full version of Acronis to be able to do this and you can create your own bootable media once you've purchased uh, Acronis and you've seen me make videos on Acronis before so we'll just let that copy across to the USB flash drive you can see it doing it here it's just putting it onto the drive and the time element here now if this was plugged into a USB 3.0 port it'll be a lot quicker uh, but we're on a virtual machine here so I can record the screen for you so I'll just do a couple of these and just show you exactly how it all works so I'm not going to sit here for a, an hour putting loads of uh, software on you should get a little OK pop up in a second to tell you that job is now done so if we wanted to add something else in we just we select uh, select which we want and you can see here the little pop-up bubbles will give you the information of what it actually does okay so this will give you some idea of what you need to click in here to add in your so if you was adding in windows and stuff like that you can use um, this top two here like this is for windows 2000 xp so if you're installing one of those you would obviously tick this one and then point to your windows iso and also if you was doing Windows Vista 7, 8 and so on you could click this one I'm not going to be putting no Windows uh, on this uh, build and uh, I'm just going to be clicking Hirons here Hirons Boot CD as you can see I'm just going to leave the underscores there I'll change this later on I'll show you where you can do that these are very simple and quick to do so you just have to go through the motions and put all these on they will take a fair bit of time and build up um, a menu of software that you want to use okay now again I'd advise if you're a PC repair tech you know you need a backup software you'll need a data recovery type software you're going to need, uh, if you want to put a malware, you could have one for malware, pen drives are so cheap, you can build, build one for malware removal and stuff like that and keep one just for rescue stuff like backup, um, data recovery, you know, all that sort of stuff. So we're just going to click OK here and we'll maybe just do one more uh, just for, for you guys here. So we're just going to, OK, we're going to do this one because it's smaller try and keep the speed up and that's one done there now to test this you could test it straight in here and test in QEMU and this will fire this up just like so and it will build build up the uh, menu as you can see here and it will look pretty bland there'll be no image but this is what you're going to end up with once you've got your uh, menu sorted out here. Now you can put an image onto here as well to make it more uh, decent and I'll show you how to do that in a second uh, but basically if you wanted to boot up to any of these you could do uh, you just push on this and it will just show you how it works and basically this will load up Hiron's boot CD and there you go we have Hiram's boot CD and you've got your menu and go through and this is how you can create your multi boot CDs so that's that job done so to get now the menu if you look at say for instance boot ice here you go into boot ice open boot ice up and you will see utilities tab here and if you look here you'll see start menu editor now you need to open up this area here and point towards your pen drive and you will see a menu um, little f uh, file here called menu open this up and you can see here we can change the timer and the colors you can see black cyan yellow and so on but if you want to add an image you can do uh, but here I would just wanted to point out some menu uh, here you can see the menu you could space this out a little bit for spaces in your uh, titles here so if you've not managed to do the titles 
you can do the titles here so you can do hirons you can see the underscores I don't really want them in there I want to make it look a bit nicer so we just tidy these up a little bit and uh, there we go so that's and we're just gonna save this here so we just save that now to add in your fancy uh, menu what you can do I'll show you how to do that now so up the very top here you'll see where the colors are where it says color black cyan and yellow and cyan we've changed the time for a little bit longer there 15 seconds and uh, if you want to I've already got a menu um, so I'm just going to quickly do this and show you the command to put in a graphics uh, type menu. So the menu I've got, I'll show you here. This is it here. So it's a GFX boot um, G, dot GFX. So you would have to put this part here. So you'd have to put GFX uh, dash boot. And uh, yeah, I mean, basically, you're just going to once you create it, I'll show you. But we're not going to cover the whole thing in this uh, video and it's dot gx uh, gfx just like so so once you've got that i need to now save this and i need to now put this file which i've created here early on into my usb flash drive because that's where the menu is and that's where we want this to read it from so what I want to do now is quickly test this and you should see a menu come up. Let it load up. And we should see a graphic image with a menu. Here you go. So now you can see where we've changed the titles and stuff like that and you've got your little menu you can now change uh, these parts here we'll probably cover the menu part in another day how to build this in another separate video but basically that's how you uh, create your own uh, PC rescue uh, and repair USB toolkits it's pretty straightforward and easy to do um, there is other software that is better than this I think nowadays but if you want to get stuck in and use a piece of software and start to learn how to do your own USB flash drives and make them bootable multi-bootable then this is how you do it anyway so have a great weekend guys my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when i upload new videos if you've got any video requests or anything like that or problems with your computers you know you can always head over to the forums and join the community over there we've also got a team speak running and uh if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, you know you can always head over there and give us a little like up over there. It doesn't cost anything. Anyway, so I hope this one helps you out, guys. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again in the next video. Thanks again for watching, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.